Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year! Happy 2023! Can you believe it is 2023? Because I absolutely cannot. In my mind it was 2012 like a year ago. So we're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna roll with it. So today it is actually really late on in the day, which is why I have got my ring light on. It's about five o'clock. I'm going to be in the house by myself tonight and I thought what better time to reset my office slash our office because it is technically a joint office but my office pretty much. So we are going to reset it and get it ready for the new year. Now it it's already the new year, we are already very much into the new year, but I just haven't gotten around to sorting the office out, so that's what we're going to be doing, and just reset and set goals and do all that stuff whenever you want to, it doesn't need to be like a new year, new me sort of thing, just whenever you have a desire to change something or set new goals, then by all means, go for it. Now, over the Christmas period and over the crazy like Christmas markets and all that stuff, the office got a little bit hectic and crazy looking and it's a mess and there's just boxes everywhere so I just need to clean it up and get it tidied and once I do that then I'll do a big stock take and I'm gonna put the website back up because I took it down over Christmas so I'll get the website back up and get everything organized and get the sale going and I think I'm also gonna put everything that's left over at a reduced price on Etsy, which is exciting. So we're going to be doing that and I'm just rambling at this point because I want to put off having to clean and tidy. So I'm going to stop rambling and we are going to actually clean and tidy. And just so you guys can see what we're working with, this is literally where I'm sat looking out at everything. <laughs> Okay, so I have done what I'm gonna call damage control and that's where I have tidied up just enough that I can get things done in the room and then there's some major sorting out that needs to go on once I've put the website live and once I've got Etsy all sorted and back up and running again. There's just a whole bunch of stuff that needs properly sorting out. So for example, in fact, I'll just show you guys it. So all of these burners, so these are all the new ones that I got in. So I got these ones, that, and then there's a pile of them. Just if we see that pile of them just chilling on the floor. So there's just like a pile of them chilling on the floor because there isn't any more room on my shelves because I'm running out of room for my books. 
so I need to figure out what to do with them. I am going to post them up onto the website so that people can purchase them individually. I'll put them up on Etsy as well. If all of a sudden you are wondering about why I'm going on about Etsy and what all of that's about, don't worry, there is a video coming and I'm going to do a whole update about the whole business revamp, how it's going, what decisions I've made, like going forward, what's going on with the business and the business goals going forward. So that's coming. If that sounds like something you want to see, then hit the subscribe button and it's coming very soon. It's this month that that's coming. I'm going to do a stock take quickly now and then set the website live. Need you, cause you've been blocking me from the floor but for some reason the floor feels right <laughs> so I've just been on the floor this entire vlog honestly I don't know why but it's what's happened right now what I'm doing it oh hang on a minute so apparently Shopify is telling me that you can now select a focal point for your images and then it'll use that. Is that what's happening? Which is quite nice. Um. Anyway, sorry, completely tangent, complete tangent. I am currently changing the main header image on the website to say it's a new year sale because that's what we are having. Now, the thing that I don't know if I should do this or not, is reduce things that aren't Christmassy as well. So I've got the Christmas clamshells and the Christmas snap bars reduced by quite a bit just because I want to get them moved out. You guys just saw how much Christmas stock I've got left. So I would just like to get them moved and shifted as soon as possible so that I've got the cash to invest back into the business. Before I set this live, I just need to do a stock take basically on the burners and do the Halloween leftovers. I'm really sorry I'm itching all the way throughout this vlog. If you watched any of the Vlogmas videos, you know that my eczema's been killing me lately. So that's why I have no self-control when it comes to the itching. Anyway, as I was saying, I also need to now do a quick little stock take on the Halloween stuff. Basically, can you guys see that? Absolute bucket loads of Halloween stuff left. And those Halloween ones, they go into these little black pip boxes and you get six in there a piece. They're worth five pounds and I'm just getting rid of them so they're gonna be 350. So what I need to do is put them in the boxes so that they can be like wrapped up and ready to go rather than taking up space like this. Um, I would just like them to be in the boxes like sorted and ready to go. So I just need to make sure that I've got the correct number of those and do a quick little stock take on the burners that are currently on the website, which are the older ones, not the newer ones. And then I can put this bad boy live. I think I might leave Etsy until tomorrow, if I'm being completely honest, because it's now 10 to seven. And I really wanna have something to eat because I'm starving. 
and then I got a printer for Christmas and I really want to set that up tonight so I think I might leave Etsy till tomorrow and instead eat leftover pizza and set up my brand new printer which is like living the dream am I right but honestly first let me focus on this well good morning everyone um it got really late last night and after I had pizza I just wanted to curl up on the sofa and just curl up on the sofa oh my god <sighs> um as you can tell I haven't quite woken up all the way yet. I woke up this morning with a raging headache that feels like it's gonna go very quickly into migraine territory so I just want to do some work bits in the morning so that if it does get to that point then I don't have to worry about oh I've got loads of work to do or whatever. However first things first we are going to start the day with a giant coffee because that's good for headaches. It's not. Ignore me. Then once that is done, the printer is coming out and then I'll wrap up this video. I'll show you guys the printer that I've gotten. Um, Thomas very kindly gifted me a printer for Christmas and I'm so excited to get it opened up. I don't know if I'm gonna experiment with maybe printing some of my own stickers. Uh, for like the melts and like going forward into candles and stuff like that. I don't know if I'm going to experiment with that or costing wise what it works out as but I'm really excited to have that option to potentially print some of my own stickers like particularly maybe not the CLPs because I think CLPs I would be way too nervous about messing it up and somehow getting it wrong but definitely like the um what are they called? Oh my god. Definitely the labels that just have like the scent name on them because I designed them myself on Canva anyway so if I could get that onto a sticker sheet maybe? I don't know but let me finish my coffee and then I'll come back. I have the HP Envy the 6032E, if that means anything to anyone. But yeah, let's figure out how to do this thing. I feel like I'm just trying to lift bits of it and I'm gonna end up absolutely breaking it. So let me just read the manual real quick and I'll be back. So something's happening. <laughs> but what? Wait until the printer lighting is purple and continue to step two. Got it. I so hope that sound came through. to print some sort of aligning situation um we're about to find out i'm gonna flip this bad boy out though Ooh, how fancy okay so printer is all set up and ready to go i'm really looking forward to using this. I'm going to be doing a vision board this year for the first time 
and I'm really excited to print off my images on this and obviously I will record it and show you guys it and let you know what I think of the printer. So yeah, I'll probably have it linked down below for you guys as well if you wanted to check out the printer. And yeah, I know this vlog's been a little bit crazy and chaotic and spanning more than one day. Um, in the future, I will want to do more studio vlogs where I'll just take you guys along on like what I'm doing throughout the day in the studio or the office as it basically is. But it should be less chaotic. The more we go on, the less chaotic it should be. I've got some really exciting stuff planned for this year. So if that sounds like something you guys are into, then hit the subscribe button down below, click the bell icon so you can be notified every time I post a video. And if you like this video, give it a big ol' thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below, like, are you still shopping any of like the January sales and stuff at this point? Or have I left it too late to launch the sale on the website? And let me know if you have this printer, what do you think of it? Have you used it to print stickers? Any information that I need to know about how to get the best out of the printer, leave them in the comments below. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys very soon in another video. Bye!